Hello there Aquarius and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are doing your weekly tarot reading. This is good February 21st through the 27th. So we'll take a look at the overall energies with the oracle cards and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like commenting or subscribing. Um, it really helps other people to reach my message and I really appreciate all your support on my channel. Okay, so let's check in here. Flamingo Spirit, embrace the in-between. Yeah, the energy of stepping out of one thing and into a new chapter. <laughs> and the in-between uh, phase can seem sometimes a little daunting. Um, and sometimes it seems like it lasts for quite a while, but uh, we're going to see if we can find some, you know, uh, areas of resistance, obstacles that you could clear out of the way so that you can step into that next chapter a little bit more quickly. Here and now, yeah, I feel like you're just sitting there, <laughs> balanced, ready for the next show. You know, um, it's really uh, just this lovely energy, but I feel like you... you I don't think you're quite frustrated yet, Aquarius. I think you're getting there, though. It's kind of like, okay, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> so your present energy, Eight of Pentacles. You could be working on something very diligently. You know, um, you could be working on, you know, uh, we're going to clarify, but I'm almost like the, the strategy, the planning stages of something that you're trying to put out into the world. Um, so it could be like the, how, you, you know, the planning strategy, you know, this, the stuff you have to do before you actually start a business, you know, your business plan, talking to investors, you know, figuring all the nitty gritties. It's not all dreamy, you know, that was the old world. Now you're kind of like starting to put it together, but you haven't actually launched the business or, you know, started something. Yeah, Aquarius, it's a nice energy. You're ready to celebrate. I feel like you want this to come in. You know, you're willing to put the time and the energy into it. Really nice energy. Okay, so let's see what your obstacle is. Justice. Some of you could be waiting on a, a legal thing to finish. You know, um, so you could be in the process of getting a divorce. So, you know, you've separated from somebody, you know you're getting divorced. Um, you know, it's in the court process right now, the in-between, you're waiting on the final decision, you know, something like that. Or with, you know, custody or something like that. It's this energy of waiting on, it's um, waiting, I feel like you're really kind of waiting on somebody else to make some type of a decision. It could be a Libra, but it's this, I need, a, I need the decision or the approval from somebody else before I can go any farther. Like you've done everything you can do up to this point, you know, there, not that there's not more that you'll have to do, but it's like you're waiting on a decision. Uh, the sun is on the bottom. So you're going to get good news. Okay. That's nice. Yeah, it could be, you know, you're waiting on the bank to approve your loan. Um, you know, for some of you, you could be waiting for, you know, somebody to, um, say you had somebody that was like in the military or something like that. Like you're waiting for them to come back so that you can start a family. You know, it's this energy of I'm just in... I'm just in a holding pattern <laughs> until um, something comes, something happens, you know, something that you're just kind of, I, I feel like this is out of your hands, you know, and I feel like you kind of know that and you're sitting there just waiting. Okay, I'll wait. I, just, I, I can't do anything else until I get this. Yeah, three of swords. This is your advice, three of swords, that this, this is disappointing that maybe it isn't happening faster. We're going to clarify that. Um, because the three of swords in your advice is kind of recognizing that you are disappointed that this is taking so long. It's also, if you look at the three of swords, there's three swords in the heart and then there's a flower coming out of it. Like knowing that the pain of whatever may have ended, you know, like if it's a divorce and you're waiting on the settlement, 
Um, or if you're trying to sell a business, you know, um, to somebody else and you're waiting on the money, you know, you could be sad about what was in your, you know, your, your past that it ended, but you're also looking forward to the future, but it's kind of like while you're sitting there waiting for something, you're just kind of like thinking about the past because it's really hard to move forward until this closes out. We do have the world card on the bottom. So you are closing out a chapter. You know, you're closing out one chapter and getting ready to start another one. So, all right. So let's see what your outcome is. Three of Cups. Nice. Okay. Nine of Cups on the bottom. Oh, don't worry after a long period i think of waiting and being sad you're, you're seeing the clarity about how you're going to go forward you know like i feel like once again that state that strategies and planning is coming into my mind i feel like you know where you want to go you've done the strategy and stuff you're just having to wait right now on something okay so let's see oh Oh my goodness. Okay, Ace of Wands. <laughs> uh, somebody wants a fresh start with you. Uh, they want to work it out. I don't know who this is, okay? Um, you have the Lover's card, the Sun, and you have the Knight of, of Cups. Somebody's coming in and expressing their love. They're shining a light on the love that they have for you. They're recognizing this could be a twin flame. Um, they're recognizing the significance of this relationship and they're coming in to talk about it. You know, they're wanting a fresh start. Let's see what we have after a period of, you know, I feel like, you know, there's been a lot of mental anguish. You've had to stay really strong and determined through this, um, whatever this is. You know, it could be, too, that you are kind of embracing your new... Uh, this is also like the mending heart. I feel like some of you might be mending your own heart. You're almost like loving yourself. You're choosing the things in your life. You're choosing the things in your life that are going to bring you happiness and joy. And you're not taking anything. That's <laughs> anything less. Really nice. Okay, so justice. Three of cups, six of wands, ace of cups, king of pentacles. Nice energy here. Yeah, I feel like you're wanting to bring something into justice. Okay, for some of you, you could have been in a third party situation. You're wanting to bring that into justice. Like, you know. That could be part of why you're getting divorced or separated or, you know, um, going your own way. You're overcoming this. You know, there's an energy of being able to overcome this. And moving towards new love. It could be that this person is trying to get it, have a fresh start with you, right? And is bringing in, we have, you know, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, you know, wanting to come in and bring this relationship into balance. They know what they did. That message is really clear to me. They know what they did and they want to be accountable for it. You're waiting on that. Okay. They have not yet done that. That's what you're waiting on. You're kind of like, until I get that apology, until you come and admit everything that you did, I feel like you don't have the all, I think you feel like you don't have all the truth or this person hasn't told you all the truth. You may actually know the truth, but you haven't heard it from them. And I feel like that is part of the pain. Like you may have heard it, you know, on social media or you know, you found out something about this person or this situation. You found it out, but not through them. And that is what is so painful. Wow. Yeah, that's, um, it's a really uh, difficult energy. You may have found out from a friend. I feel like it's a social uh, you found out somehow from a social friend 
or from a social platform and you're like, I can't believe you didn't tell me, you know. But I don't think, they, they may not yet know that you know. I think they know that you know. Yeah, they know that you know. But they still haven't told you to your face. So it's like, you know, and they know that you know, but they didn't tell you. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, that's really hurtful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Fool. I feel like you're going in a new direction. I think you're like, yeah, I'm over this. You know, after a tower moment, I think you found some information out. And you're kind of like, yeah, I need a more balanced and stable life. I need to come, I need to go in my own direction. And yet at the same time, I feel like they want to come in suddenly and try to balance the situation out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. You know, you have the full card on the bottom, two of cups. Six of Pentacles. That's why I feel like the energy, I really feel like this could be a twin flame connection because the energy of both you and the other person I think is coming in where one person really wants to reconnect and the other person is like, uh, you, you have a lot to make up for. You have a lot that you need to explain. You have a lot that, um, you know, a lot of pain that you need to kind of, you know, be accountable for. It's as if they did something, you know, and thought that they wouldn't get caught or thought it wasn't that big of a deal. And you're like, oh, no, this is a big deal. I'm sorry, Aquarius. I know this is... um. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles again. We start with Eight of Pentacles and we end with Eight of Pentacles. Working on mending your heart, you know. Um, there's a real energy here of you stepping into this energy of I am going to go and love myself for who I am. You know, you need to figure out how you feel about all this. I'm fine, but I'm also ready to step into the next. I feel like there's a conversation and that's that needs to be made. And that is why you're in this in between. It's almost as if you need to make a decision. You're not wanting to make the decision. It's almost as if you want them to come and, and make the decision. I feel like you really want to have a conversation. And decide, you know, okay, and in that conversation, decide, okay, you know, if they come, they're very remorseful, you know, they, they explain the situation or tell the details or definitely apologize, but I think it's even more than that, right? Whatever it is that you're looking for, I feel like if they come in, there's a chance that you are going to say, okay, I'm ready to work on this. You know, yeah, judgment card underneath there. I'm ready to work on this. I'm ready to give in a second chance. But I also feel like some of you are kind of like, yeah, if it doesn't happen soon, I have to make the decision to move forward for myself. And, you know, Aquarius, don't wait for anybody, right? Yeah, let's see. Am I apologizing for my truth? Oh my goodness. What part of you is apologizing for your truth and why? Today, be proud of your truth. Catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold parts of it. You never know whose life you will change when you are brave enough to speak it. Be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives in all of us. This will give others permission to speak their own truth. There is room for all of us. Today's mantra, courage is courageous. That I feel is part of this, you know, conversation. I think it is about speaking your truth. I feel like 
that is where you didn't get any justice. Because I feel as if you found out some information or, you know, in, in, a, uh, in a, a different arena about this person or this situation. You know, once again, you saw it on Facebook or whatever. You know, you saw it somewhere else and then it was kind of like, okay, but there's been no justice. You haven't had a conversation with this person. It's almost as if you have to have a conversation with this person in order to um, bring this together, right? Like to, to say, okay, um, <laughs> this, this doesn't work for me. You know, this was very painful. I, I want some justice out of this situation. And really being truthful, like you may um, at some point have just wanted to just walk away, go into the next chapter of your life and say, okay, that's fine, I'm whatever, you know, and just walk away. But I feel as if you need to say, you need to speak your truth about this. You need to speak up. Because I feel that's what's holding you back from stepping into the next chapter. I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. And I feel is it, if there is an opportunity, okay, where you are face to face with this person or something like that, like you run into them or whatever, you know, it's kind of like the universe is giving you that opportunity to speak up because that's the message here is that the, there needs to be a conversation to clear this air and, and, for, and give you an opportunity to speak your truth about how painful this situation was. Well, Aquarius, I'm going to leave it there. I do um, wish you much love and light in this situation. And um, I'm sending you lots of hugs and love. And if you did resonate, I'd love to hear in the comments below how this might resonate with you. And um, take good care of yourself um, while you're going through this type of energy. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.